I'm now going to quickly show you how to resize and rename images using the batch processing function of ACDC Pro. Um, I've already in, I've got the photos in here, they've already been converted to JPEGs. You can see that the, the file sizes are still quite large but I need to resize them for web use. Also I want to change the names back to um, just simple reference numbers. So first of all if I click on one image, if you have ACDC automatic, uh, already loaded onto your computer as a program, it should be the default viewer when you click on uh, a photograph to be loaded. So I'll just wait for that to load. There we go, and the photos now open in uh, full size within ACDC Pro, and they're all within the, the file there. But what I need to do is select all the photos, and you can do this by actually double clicking on the photo, and it will take you through to the actual folder itself with all the images inside. So here we've got all eight photos that we want to resize using the batch process. Just wait for them all to load. Once they're in there, you simply select all of them by again doing Control A, and they all go dark blue as they're selected. And when you do that, these new menus open up at the top. The one we want to use is Batch Tools. So if we click on that, we've got two we want to use there, Batch Resize and Batch Rename. So if we start by doing the Batch Resize, it brings up a new dialog box. and We can actually set whatever size here we want the, the photos to be. You can set it by percentage of the original size in pixels or actual print size. Uh, I'm going to go for pixel size because I work on the internet quite a bit. Now again I'm going to use these for web use so I'm going to set the width uh, at 600 and the maximum height at 600. Now that means that it will take the longest edge and set it to 600 um, without changing them dramatically, i.e. some won't be bigger than others. Um, I'm going to preserve the original aspect ratio and fit within the width and height of the photo. There's all different kind of um, options available to you. Uh, again, you can place them in wherever you want to um, send the new photos. You can either remove and replace the original files, you can rename, remodify and place in a source folder or you can place them in a, a separate folder that you've already opened. There's all, all kind of things. You can also set the JPEG compress compression. And I'm going to put it at the best quality just because I like the images to be top notch on my website. So let's set that to OK. Set that to OK. Oh, there we go. I'm going to actually remove and replace the original files for the purpose of this tutorial. So if I select that option, what will happen now is all of these original JPEGs will get reduced to a maximum 600 width and height. Now, if we start resizing now, you'll see what happens. It's very, very fast, this program. It'll work through them resizing as they go. Now bear in mind here I'm actually resizing the originals and normally I would set up a new fold folder for web use and send them there keeping the original JPEGs but like I said this is just for the purposes of this tutorial and that's the last one. So they're done, hit done and you can see now if we hover the cursor over the photo it's changed the the size to 400 by 600 and severely reduce the, the file size to 267 kilobytes. They're all great for, for web use and they've already been processed and they're much easier to scroll through. So that's the first stage done where we've actually resized them. Again we want to rename them so we go through the same process Control A, Batch Tools, Batch Rename and it brings up a, a, a new dialog box here where you can actually have various options open to you that you can actually change. You can use the numbers to replace um, the hash keys that you place in there, you can use templates, there's lots and lots of different ways of doing it and whatever method you choose it shows you here the current name and then the new name that you're going to have. So I'm actually going to change the template here to have two hashes which changes the current name from Wedding Spain Large 01 and it changes them back to basic numbers 01 through to 08 starting here at 01. Just to show you, if I change that to 02 you can see here it's now the first number is 02 and so on. If I keep clicking up whatever number I put in there that's what they'll start at. If I want to put in 999 it'll start at 999 but we want to start at number 1 through to 8 and it's going to revert them back to just very small numbers ready for web use. So again if I start rename done. Quick as that. You can see here they're all renamed 1 through to 8 and that's a very very simple and quick way to show you how quick ACDC Pro is at actually renaming and resizing files. It's something I actually use quite a lot 
Uh, it's one of my favourite programs for doing this kind of batch processing. I never use it for changing the raw process or any other elements that I would change in Photoshop. I just mainly use it for resizing and renaming and that's just to show you how it's done in ACDC Pro.